lists of linear equations can be expressed in a really compact manner using a little bit of matrix algebra. Let's take a look at something that is called linear systems. Consider the following three linear equations in variables x, y, and z. We have x minus 3y plus 3z equals 8, 5x plus y minus 2z equals 7, and negative 2x plus y minus z equals negative 6. Okay, that's three equations, three unknowns. Could you solve this? Yes, but we're going to convert it to a single equation using vectors and matrices. So pack those variables, x, y, z, into a single variable, single vector. We're going to call that x with an underline. And then the right-hand sides, the 8, 7, negative 6, pack that into a vector, pull out the coefficients, turn that into a matrix, a 3 by 3 matrix with all of those multiples of x, y, z in it. Call that matrix A, call the vector on the right-hand side B. We get a single equation of the form ax equals b. So instead of three equations, three unknowns, we have one equation, one unknown, but it's a vector. Now this system has a unique solution, as you could figure out on your own. x is equal to 2, y is equal to negative 1, z is equal to 1. The vector x is 2, negative 1, 1. Okay, so what do we do with this? Why is this helpful? Well, one reason is that we now have a single equation, a big equation that encodes any system of linear equations that you might write down independent of how many variables are really going on here. And this one simple equation, ax equals b is all over the place in applications. We're gonna focus on a collection of examples.